Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this week's McKittrick Follies. Oh, thank you, Elsie. All right, so um, you probably know me, or many of you do. I'm Elizabeth Lindsay, and I'm one half. Oh, thank you. I am one half of your hosts for the evening. I'm and the she's my other half. It's, in fact, one of the greatest honors of my life to introduce you to my dear, dear old friend, the undeniable Miss Elsie St. James. Thank you. Thank you. Lizzie, Lindsay, I can't believe we're finally here together after all Tell this time. I know it's taken me a while, but as you know, I've always been a bit fashionably late. <laughs> Amen to that. Um, we actually, we've known each other for ages and ages. True um, story. I had set one too many fires down in Arizona, got sent up to boarding school in Little Rock is yes. where we met. Home sweet Arkansas. But see, my path to Arkansas was a bit more about mistaken identity. You see, I come from French extraction, and my mother, well, she had a wayward man in her life. My father, Mon Petit Pierre, she would call every time he would leave us. And finally, the last time he decided to leave us, she decided to follow. So we went to the depot. Something got lost in translation because she said, a ticket to Mon Petit Pierre. And we ended up in Little Rock. You see, Petit Pierre means small stone in French. Mm. It could happen to anyone. Anyone. Ah. It happened to me. And your mother. They're dumbfounded with the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it often happens here in the Manderley. <laughs> But you know, names are funny, aren't they? I remember your nicknames growing up. Oh, do you know? Dizzy Miss Lindsay. Oh, yes, says Pantless Elsie. <laughs> no pants a lot of the time. My favorite was Elizabeth the Thirst. <laughs> we found where our passions lay early on. It's very, very true. <laughs> oh, my word. What was it that your mother always used to say? Oh, she said, well, Elsie St. James, that's a name that sounds like trouble and liquor. <laughs> She was the one that named you, though. Well, it was a family name. <laughs> well, we may have come from trouble, but Little Rock certainly taught us everything that we know. I would say that's true. Oh, would you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're just two little girls from Little Rock. We lived on the wrong side of the tracks. When the gentlemen friends who used to call, they never and most urgently requested to win a party of guests on a fantastic voyage into the unknown. Hmm. More cannot yet be revealed. Just know it is written in the stars. Look up, look ahead. The party awaits. Readiness is all. Beyond the midnight train out of Paisley. Set sail at dawn. Yours truly, truly the, the captain. captain. What the hell is this? I don't know. Is there a party I didn't know about? I didn't know. Apparently there is. Yeah. I vote. I think Sounds like. like. I can't think about this right now. All right. Why don't we finish the song and then get that.
guy's a millionaire. <laughs> 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 we have a millionaire on the house. Oh my hell. god, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> right on time. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, the answer is millionaire. We know. Yeah, when I when I hear my name called, you know, I just come right away. Oh, you know, I think I read that in a bathroom stall once, right under my phone number. That's strange. That well, weird. it's funny you should say that because I was just in the men's bathroom stall and oh, somebody I, I slipped the this under room. the door for me. Wait, what? I love the men's room. It's one of my favorite places. Never mind. <laughs> Mine too. Wait, so do you, are you going to go to the party? I'm absolutely going to go to the party, my darling. You know, I, I, the minute I saw it and I read it. I thought when adventure calls, I follow. Oh, well, all right then. What the hell is all about it? I can't wait to find out. You know what? I was going to sing a little song about the moon. Because, because everybody loves songs about the moon. And, you know, there's so many songs about the moon. And then I realized that when you have the moon, you're never lonely. So I thought, well, people that like songs about the moon are just lonely people. And so then, instead of putting all my love to the moon, I thought I'll put all my love into the world, and then into New York, and then into the McKittrick Hotel, because there's so much love to be found in the McKittrick Hotel. And songs about the moon are just for lonely people, and there's so much love in this room as there is in my heart. So with that in mind, I used to visit all the very gay places Those come what may places Where one relaxes on the axis of the wheel of life To get the feel of life From jazz and cocktail Yes! The girls I knew had sad and sullen gray faces With distant gay traces It used to be that you could see where they'd been washed away By too many through the day Twelve o'clock tales Then you came along with your siren song to tempt me to madness I thought for a while that your poignant smile was tinged with the sadness of a great love for me Ah yes I was wrong Again I was wrong Life is lonely again And only last year Everything seemed so sure Now life is awful again a draw full of hearts could only be a bore. A week in Paris could ease the bite of beer. All I care is to smile in spite of it. I forget you. Inside my brain Romance is mush Stifling those who strive I'll lead a lush life In some small dive And there I'll be while I rot with the rest of those whose lives are lonely to
I can butcher all your favorite songs, thank you. And for full disclosure, I was at Big Dick's Halfway Inn last night. It was the best night of my life. Yeah. 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 Oh, by the way, I'm, not, I'm gonna go to this little soiree and then I'm coming back on Tuesday for another Follies. Nobody ever, rid of him. Nobody ever really leaves. See you next Tuesday. Shorter than Elizabeth, but this is ridiculous. Wait, what? I'm offended. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. What do you mean? We we Did we invite her? Who are you? It's Elsie. You know me in your heart. It's fine. Wait, so the pleasure's all yours. Wait, so you got an invitation as well? I did. I haven't opened it yet. Oh, good gracious! Well, it's so strapping. Can you read it? Do you need me to read it for you? I feel like maybe that's a strong vote for me to go to this party because I can possibly stay in the hotel if I don't have a tall strapping fella to chop my wood for me. I, I, I think that joke breaks itself. Does oh, it? Insert. It feels like we put a lot of thought into this. Well, all we came so. up with was insert dick joke about wood here. So go ahead, Edmund. <laughs> with an actor what was I thinking <laughs> sex with an actor what was I drinking I feel like such a fool why wasn't I on to his 8 by 10 smile why wasn't I on to his well rounded tones why didn't I have on my actor deflector before I decided to jump his bone? Now I'm here under much duress with a Broadway musical actor, no less. With some direction, I think I've sent him, and yes, we're finally there. But then the talent <clears throat> breaks the momentum to readjust his hair. <laughs> and as we reposition and reposition and reposition and reposition, I realize for all of his special effects, he's not really having sex, but doing an audition. Lights, camera, action. He's finally coming as passion takes its flight. And then with horror, I hear him humming the music of the night. <laughs> applause, applause, your star never shone so bright. Now take a bow and exit right. <laughs> Sex with an actor. I'm so glad I could attend the end. Didn't he say he was no. going to exit right? That's what I thought he said he was going to do, but he exited stage left. Wait a minute. This place is immersive, right? Right, left. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't. Exit. Do you have those exits? Uh, Edmund. I just got this invitation. You, Archie. Archie, are you going to set sail? I guess. Again? <laughs> Archie, make up your damn mind already. Well, you know, I've left a few times, come back. <laughs> this place is a bit like an old lover, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe you don't way? know that. <laughs> but let me tell you about it. Nice clean smiles, oh yes Beautiful girl, lovely dress Where she is now, I can only guess But it's gone, daddy gone, love is gone I'm gone, daddy gone, love is gone Gone, daddy gone, love is gone I'm gone, daddy gone, love is gone
about leaving. Well, I can see by the way that you change your walk, and I can hear by the way that you baby talk, and I can see by the way that you love your man. I can love you, girl, but it's a cry. Yeah, I'm gone, daddy gone. Love is gone. I'm gone, daddy gone. Love is gone. Gone, daddy gone. Love is gone. I'm gone, daddy gone. Love is gone. Beautiful girl, lovely dress, fifteen smiles. Unless, of course, I come back, and, and then I'll see you soon. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little confused. Yeah, Lizzie, is, is it his daddy that's gone, or is he the daddy? I'm, I'm certain that I do who's not know. Who's his daddy? Well, it, Archie, who's your daddy? Maybe it's a metaphor. Who's the maybe daddy? It's Maximilian. It could be Max is everybody's daddy. Tell me about it. Oh, oh my! Yeah. Oh. Saved the life. Who is this? You know who it is, my love. Goddamn Robinson! Oh, a little birdie told me that you finally got your invitations. Finally? Yes, yes I got mine a long time ago. Tell me about it. You disappeared, like, uh, like right in the night. That's right. Well, but I'm back. Like a dove into the And pool. I have some information to share with you. Oh. I know. Well, I won't tell... I won't divulge the secrets yet, but, uh... You know, I have seen the sunshine. And on my travels, uh, I was walking down this cobblestone street and I saw this woman in red. I don't know if she had yellow hair or black hair. But she gave me this note and I decided to write her back. In the cold, standing all alone, I look inside, but I can't hide. A distant memory floating in the breeze passes by. It reminds me in the rain, trying to explain why no one can come closer. No one can. A waterfall lines my broken home, can't see inside. It's where I hide So I hold on Just to be strong I open my eyes I open my mind And I hold on Just to seem strong I realize And recognize Wasted time Which way to go? A cherished memory hiding in the breeze passes by. It reminds me in the rain, calling out the names. I can feel the love of those who really knew me. A waterfall.
Jesus Christ, I've dissolved it to a do. God, and now I, I get to follow that. Isn't that grand? I'm going to have to talk to Lizzie about the set list next time. It's okay. Well, you know, Archie's singing about his daddy being gone, or his, someone's daddy. If you recall, my daddy was a goner. And the song about belonging, it's getting me thinking about where I really belong, you know? I think we've all felt that way. I got this wanderlust in my blood. I, I can't really seem to stay still, so you know the feeling you just gotta go out and look for some place where you really want it, where, where you can be yourself and where you can wear pants if you want. <laughs> but you know, it's out there somewhere. <sighs> It's a god-awful small affair For the girl with the mousy hair But her mommy is yelling no And her daddy has told her to go But her friends are nowhere to be seen Now she walks through her sunken dream To the seats with the clearest view And she's hooked to the silver screen but the film is a saddening bore Cause she's lived it ten times or more She could spit in the eyes of fools As they ask her to focus on sailors Fighting in the dance hall Oh man, look at those cavemen go It's the freakiest show Invited, just so you know. All right, well, all right. I'm gonna have to decide. You, what I'm right, do you gotta think about if you're gonna join us or not. Sure, it's no. really no party without Elizabeth Lindsay, am I right? I mean, yeah. right? especially when I'm flanked by two beauties from Hollywood. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I suppose it makes the decision process the decision process easy. Well, all right, let's head off. All right, and we have, have to talk it over. 